Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gran Turismo 7's 1.49 update. Has this been in the works for an incredibly long time? It is the largest update since last November's Spec 2 update. And man, oh man, am I excited today. We have got six new cars. The BMW M3 1997. The... Ferrari 2007 F430 Scuderia, the Genesis X Grand Racer Vision Grand Turismo Concept, the, of course, the Lamborghini Gallardo, then the Rough 4.2 2016 model, and finally, last but not least, the Subaru Impreza Rally Car 1998 the Colin McRae legendary Subaru rally car there. And of course, why this is one of the biggest updates since November is because we have a brand new track. It is the lot. Well, I don't know if it's been lawn awaited, but lawn missing, shall we say? Iger Neudvand, which has been. This is a really interesting one because. For me, my history of Gran Turismo is I've played a little bit of 1 and 2, played quite a bit of 4, and then this has been my last Gran Turismo game since then. So, a lot of people love the hell out of this track, part of the PlayStation 3 era. And this is just one of the tracks I never got to experience. And it being the first time that I've experienced it, it's just absolutely awe-inspiring. Just taking a look taking in this incredible Switzerland scenery, Swiss scenery, should we say, and why it's taken so long is we actually got a video from Gran Turismo, well, from Polyphony themselves, where they got in a helicopter and had hundreds of cameras that they just flew over the top of the mountainside to be able to get the correct topography and to get all of that information and here it is look at it in all of its glory i can't imagine that that took a short amount of time <laughs> and to me what's crazy is that this game is still technically a cross-generation game with incredible graphics i'd love to see this even on the playstation 4 because I know Digital Foundry did a video discussing the differences between the 4 and the 5. I still can't really find the differences. But I mean, just take a look at this. It is absolutely spectacular. One of the biggest points of this update has been a physics remodeling or rework. And as much as I, I honestly really wanted to get into the nitty gritty and discuss all the changes, all the differences, and really do like, like a compare and contrast, but earlier this morning when the update dropped, I watched a lot of different YouTubers discuss their feelings of the physics update. And nobody could really pinpoint down anything specific where it's like, okay, maybe some of the cars are more understeery. Maybe the cars are slightly more precise. And it just nobody could really put a finger on it. I'm not a technical person, so I can't sit down and just say, this is all what happened. This is what I feel is different. So I'm honestly not going to waste my time because it's going to be patched anyway. Some of the videos that we've seen so far about some of these cars just going absolutely nuts when they have like an engine swap and a really weird suspension tuning. Again, I'm not going to bother. Much more of the update includes, of course, with Iger Nordvan being added, we're getting three new world circuit courses. It was a 500 PP. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We're getting a 500 PP. Just kind of race whatever from Europe. Then we're going to have another Jimny Cup. And then we're going to have the a Group B Rally, which is quite nice. This is on the reverse format, which is definitely different. I know a lot of people are discussing how the original, the original, original Iger No event did have a Group B rally stage and some other different variations of the course. 
and we only got forward and reverse. So I don't know if there we're going to get other variations later. I can't imagine we would, but still, it's nice to have this. Furthermore, with uh, the physics update and whatnot, we also got uh, Gran Turismo's Sophie AI has been added to a couple more courses, i.e. the Nürburgring, which has been extremely exciting. I, again, once again, I can't imagine that took a short amount of time. And to finally be able to have some of the best AI in racing, allegedly, on one of the best tracks in sim racing, confirmed. <laughs> it's uh, going to be very interesting to see how that all plays out. I will probably do it at some point. Uh, maybe not tonight, though. Also, new cafe, new menu book. Should we say extra menu book number 40? It is the McLaren menu book. It is McLaren F1, McLaren MP412C, and then the McLaren Vision Gran Turismo, of course, also known as the McLaren Solus. And that one is, I know it's going to be very difficult for a lot of people because the McLaren F1 continues to rise in price and currently is 20 million credits. So it's just it. Ugh crazy and then the vision gran turismo is a couple mil as well so it's just the menu books man they're only here for the people like myself that are crazy enough to grind out the amount of credits to be able to get all the cars and man was it just a nightmare so those of you who are still looking for those cars don't worry <laughs> they'll be there one of the other interesting things was with the physics update we have new tires I say new loosely because it just appears that the tires in Brands, not Brand Central, in GT Auto, or excuse me, the tuning shop, there we go, have been rebranded as Michelin tires. So I guess Polyphony Digital had a sponsorship deal with uh, Michelin and just said, you know, rename all your tires to Michelin and we'll give you some more money. <sighs> I don't care for Michelins, they're fine, but like if it gives more um, money towards Polyphony to have that sponsorship deal, I'm fine with it because it'll give us more stuff in the future, so interesting change, it is what it is though. So this next part is interesting, I want to see if I can make this happen. Uh, there's rumors that punctures may be happening, now with the complete lack of uh well due to this physics update i had just seen not long ago when i ran into the wall that i got a notice that the tire had well it just kind of had some red lines around it saying that it is officially out of grip okay so we are it's officially out out and the tire is still very much so inflated that's a bummer. So there you have it. A large update that hopefully I've summarized in a very neat and tidy way for the rest of you to enjoy. If you enjoyed... Wow. Yeah, that has no grip anymore. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got some more Gran Turismo Online League stuff happening. So stay tuned for all that. I've been Matt. Again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.